Richter was somebody who was constantly experimenting with ways to approach painting. And even in his early works, the black and white photo paintings, he was blurring the image so it wasn't just an accurate representation of imagery, but something that was slightly abstracted. And I think more and more throughout the 60s, he began to sort of push the boundaries of what is painting, uh, what is art. While he was a very established artist, for a young career artist at the time, he really did sort of push the boundaries here. And what we found was countless articles that had come out after the show was, was first exhibited, lambasting the show because it was so devoid of what he had sort of staked his early career upon. And I think those, that sort of helped push him more and more into to experimentation and, and to sort of continue this narrative further and further throughout his life. Richter discovered the color charts in a shop and then he made something out of it that is uh, completely abstract. There is a great development in these paintings and what is great in this exhibition is that you really see this. If you look at the very first painting, the 192 colors, you see how handmade it is. You're surprised because normally you see it in a in a catalogue and then it looks very perfect, but when you see it here in original, you see how handmade it actually is. And you see this one is made by oil paint, and then he changed to emanel paint. So he wanted to make it more industrial, more clear, more not so personal. This was one step to, in this direction to use industrial colours. It's 50 years, so we have the luxury of looking back. At the same time, when you stand in this room, it is my personal feeling that they're incredibly fresh, incredibly relevant, and I can imagine a lot of young artists who must have looked at the work to be where they are today. So to me, they're important not only because they are a very strong influence to the new generation, but more than that, it was a breakthrough for the artist. He's been a figurative artist, the relationship with Polka is quite strong, and suddenly he breaks free in a very conceptual, cold, rigorous approach, which we can only find in Mondrian or Kandinsky for me. And so at that moment, to be so radical um, shows not only his deep, deep roots in history of art, but also his incredible freedom. And I think he opened the road to much and many possibilities.